as a married person, <laughs> what is your take on on living with your partner before marriage? Do you think um, marriage is overrated? It's alright, Jai, because you really don't have to be married. You can live your life happily. Yeah. You have, you still have men in your life. You guys, I'm here with Nello. I'm about to do a video. Like, yeah. she already has a video idea, but mm -hmm. I'm still coming up with like. I want to ask her um, questions on my channel, so I'm still coming up with like the questions I want to ask her. Before and now. I don't know what the questions are about, but I'm excited to answer. Okay, yeah, a lot of random questions. Anyways, I'm going to start off by asking: When you first started off your YouTube channel, what would you say? When, what, when would you say that you noticed that okay, maybe you were doing something wrong? And then when would you also say that you noticed that? you're doing something right because now maybe your views are getting better or like okay. you know um your subscribers people are like subscribing to your channel and stuff like that about doing something wrong i never really think i'm doing anything wrong mm -hmm. um obviously sometimes you might just make videos that some people are not really interested in but yeah. i don't see that something wrong mm -hmm. But um, when it comes to doing something right, mm -hmm. I feel like I started YouTube the right way. Okay, no, let me, let me, I rephrase. I, I was on YouTube, but um, not long after I started being consistent on YouTube, I put out the right video, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's not like I started it right, mm -hmm. but I put out the right video quite early. Mm -hmm. So that just helped my YouTube career. Okay. Because even though that video got me maybe like 3,000 subscribers or something, wow. but it's what really kickstarted this whole YouTube journey, YouTube career, YouTube yeah. anything. Before that video, it was like a hobby, it was a joke. Yeah. Till that video, so um, so that's what I would say I've done right, maybe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How do you deal with hate comments on YouTube? The <laughs> unnecessary comments. The okay. people who are just looking for trouble. There are a lot. Funny enough, most like ninety percent of the time. I don't care. Um, the other like seven percent of the time, I block people. Like I just block you. You know there are different levels to hate comments, right? Yeah. So like the ninety percent of the time, because oh, people just hating, I don't have time for this. And then the other seven percent is like, no, this is taking it to the next level. Like mm -hmm. I don't want this kind of negativity on my channel. Yeah. So I just block you. Yeah. And then the other three percent of the time. I will insult you. I will talk to you back. In fact, the same tone I have the energy. Yes, energy. The same tone you, you talk to me with, yes. I will give it back to you tenfold, and I will still block you. Great. Okay. <laughs> but for the most part, you just have to ignore. So ninety yeah. percent ignoring ninety percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to ignore a lot. But sometimes, like people are just crossing boundaries, yeah. so you just have to give it back to them. Okay. Is, so, is support something you seek from your friends and family and when you did not receive the support you felt like you should have gotten from them how did it make you feel like i always look out for my friends who really support well, me yeah. whether it's like but watching my videos or even like sharing or, or comment or sharing stuff and when you don't i'm just like wow okay <laughs> but I, I just want to okay. know <laughs> but the thing is yeah um i i never I don't have expectations when it comes to people, like okay. rarely. In fact, I don't even like to expect too much from myself. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop me from trying to achieve the best I can. Because I know some people say, oh, if you don't have high expectations, then you don't achieve. No, that doesn't work for me. Yeah. In my life, I know that I'm working hard. I'm, I'm always working hard to go to the next level. Yeah. But I don't like to have too much expectations because mm -hmm. people will disappoint you. Mm -hmm. Friends will disappoint you. Family will. My family don't rate me. Like, <laughs> This is my sister that I'm in house. She doesn't even watch my videos. The neck I'll be like, why am I watching you? <laughs> like, even if she plays it, she just forward it. But it's not something I can take personal. Yeah. Then I have friends that don't even care about my YouTube channel. Like, yeah. they don't give a single F about my YouTube channel. But then again, I have friends that support me so bad. I mm -hmm. know the funny thing, a lot of my friends actually watch my videos, but they won't comment. Yeah. That still counts. In fact, 99% yeah. of them will watch, but they won't comment. Yeah. But when you talk to them, you realize that, oh, okay, you watch me that much. Yeah. So, but I just never expect it. So I never get disappointed when yeah. they support me or if they don't, because I just don't expect it from anybody. Yeah. Um, on the internet, you just meet a lot of 
uh, should I say like um, a lot of strangers that become your online friends yes. and family. I've been friends for like how long? Yet no. somebody that I literally just they met on the internet like three weeks ago yeah. is, is literally my it's biggest like fan. They, yeah, like they yeah. care more about you. Yeah. But it's just how it is. Like obviously your friends <laughs> genuinely care about you. Yeah. But they know you. You know, they know what your day is like. <laughs> they know what, how you think. You guys have these conversations in real life. Yeah. So they don't think they need to go on YouTube yeah. to to see you. Yeah. Or to, you know, so yeah, yeah, that's how I see. So I don't expect my friends to watch my videos or anything. Yeah. For, but I'm very grateful. You know, to, like I'm grateful to those that actually take watch time to watch it, my videos. Yeah. yeah, it means a lot. But it's not something I'll hold against any friend or yeah. family. My family members are the worst. They don't watch. <laughs> Like, actually, this one, I mean, I, was, I keep emphasizing on Neka. Neka, even if I'm the president, she'll still be sending me a message. She will still not even rate me at all. She was like... <laughs> now, I kind of, I, I do the same thing you yeah. said. Don't just expect that much from yeah, people. Like, don't expect, expect so much from yourself as well. Exactly. Like, it's what but it always is, work yeah. to achieve the best you can yeah. without setting, like, high expectations. Yeah. And that's just me. But I know I've heard people say without certain high expectations, they can't achieve what they want to achieve. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't, it's, it doesn't work for me. I will always achieve more than I want to achieve without even expectations. Goals. <laughs> that's what I should aspire to do. Oh, but you normally set goals for yourself? I mean, when it comes to school, yes. Okay. But yeah. When it comes to like other Life. stuff, I'm just like I'm. I like to focus on one thing at a time. Okay. Sharing my time with you, mm -hmm. YouTube, YouTube and school. and school, like it can get too much for me. A lot of people are amazing with multitasking and yes, all that. Their yes. brain, not even just physically, yes. their brain. Yes. But some people just want once that, I start um, sharing my time le between YouTube and school now, I'm just like God. Yeah. You know what? Some people just want to be focused. To, yes, yes. We can't be this. What is your take on like? Like, you know, comparison. Like when we compare ourselves to other people, whether it's like at the stage where in life or this person has, I don't have that. See, eh? comparison, comparison is like is the worst thing you can do to yourself. I'm lucky that I don't compare a lot. Like I'm not even at all. I don't compare at all because. You can't compare, like, you can't compare. What I normally do, at every point in my life, I'm grateful for what I have, where I am, mm -hmm. and who I am, or what not. I'm always grateful. Like, the moment you start comparing yourself to others, the more you start feeling bad about yourself, or yeah. about what you have, or about who you are. Mm -hmm. I'm that kind of friend that, <laughs> God, you want to buy a house, or it's got to buy a house, we we'll buy a house in peace. Yeah. <laughs> Who are not buying the house? Please, it's coming to come buy my gala and show what I'm in peace, okay? You have to escort me back yeah. home. You don't even have a choice. Yeah. I think when people compare, it's really about them, and it's not even, like, it says a lot about your kind of character, mm -hmm. so it's something you should try to get rid of. You can actually work hard to get rid of comparison in your life yeah. and you should get that done because if not it's just going to be pulling you back you're going to start feeling like oh I started YouTube with this person and they are 200,000 and I'm still at 50,000 and then yeah. before you know it you stop uploading videos you stop feeling motivated and you're hurting yourself by comparing yourself to other people yeah. no matter what whether it's YouTube or in real life in school whatever it is yeah. just be yourself and do your best you're t like we all thrive at different times mm. just do your best but I never compare it's not even possible. Yeah. I can't even stand it. Even my friend, I always <laughs> comparing. Like we can't yeah. even be friends. Yeah. I don't like it. True. And the fact about life is a lot of people will do better than you, be richer than you, be better than you, be finer than you, be hotter than you, everything. Yeah. And then you also will be richer than a lot of people, finer, more hardworking, whatever. Yeah. So now for the more exciting questions. As a married person, okay. uh, we're not married. <laughs> <laughs> what is your take on on living with your partner before marriage? Uh, like, I know you're already married, but it's like, what is your own opinion about that whole? Because mm -hmm. I know one time the shade room posted about it, and then a lot of people were giving their own opinions, mm -hmm. and then I posted on my close friend's story, and then I had a lot of different opinions as well. Mm -hmm. So I just want to know what your own take is. What is your opinion about about it? I don't have a problem with it. Ah, uh, please, children. I'm not saying you should move with your boyfriend. So please, stop moving with your boyfriend, okay? Mm -hmm. But I don't have a problem with it. I moved in with my husband before we got married, like not not like a long time before we mm -hmm. got married, like um, like four months mm -hmm. or so before we got married. But we were engaged. 
Okay. We're planning our wedding, so yeah, we're basically married. Okay. But I moved in with him before we got married, mm -hmm. and it's just to be honest, if you're spending the rest of your life with someone, yeah. you should at least know, get, have an idea yeah. of the kind of person you're going to yeah. live with. Though it's not easy, marriage. <laughs> You, you just have to know that's for yeah. me oh. but a lot of people are okay with just getting married and then moving in together and seeing all the yeah. hell then for me i'd rather know what i'm entering yeah. before entering it so yeah that's my take Sha. yeah and then my last question is do you think um, marriage is overrated i think see it depends on how you look i think i think marriage is underrated and I also think marriage is overrated. Okay, mm -hmm. there is, <laughs> it's not an easy yes is overrated or yes is underrated. I think yeah. marriage is underrated because marriage is good. Like having the, like that whole companionship, a partner in crime, a partner in everything, like mm -hmm. a best friend and. There's a level of comfort if you marry the right person. Mm -hmm. There's a level of comfort you feel like, I don't know, you, it's almost like an extension of yourself yeah. when you have that kind of good relationship good marriage and just yeah all the good stuff that come with a marriage being good so a lot of people don't even highlight that part of marriage yeah. but then uh, marriage is overrated in a way because to be honest you really don't need marriage like <laughs> you don't need to be married that's that's the truth you yeah. I, in like as nigerians we only even get married a lot of nigerians get married because of having kids and as nigerians yeah. having children in your father's house it's not normal it's yeah. just not normal yeah. so a lot of people will go into marriage even men and women just so they can have uh, ma uh, children yeah. under the marriage and you know manage themselves anyhow anyhow mm -hmm. so in that sense it's all right there Jai, because you really don't have to be married you can live your life happily yeah you have you still have men in your life you don't have yeah. boyfriends or whatnot but you don't see opera now yeah. like you know she said she's okay being a girlfriend she has been a girlfriend for how many years now i don't know probably more than 40 years or so yeah. and she's fine with it you know because yeah. um, in her own words when you're a girlfriend nobody expects you to have dinner ready by six yeah but when, then when you're married you're expected to have dinner ready by six mm -hmm. so all those unnecessary expectations are quite annoying but in that sense marriage is overrated but then also sometimes it's underrated because there's a lot of good things that come out of marriage yeah. yeah so what do you think though from where you stand I think my generation is so funny. Mm -hmm. I think like young people right now are just like we all believe that marriage is overrated. Yeah. I understand that it has like its beautiful parts of and like course. especially when you get married to the right person. Mm -hmm. But I just believe that everybody right now, I don't know where people's heads are. Yeah, are I feel like now that's this the generation. Problem. Yeah. That's the problem. The the right, the right person. They're, mm -hmm. they're very few. You can count them. Yes. You can count them in yes. this especially in this country. You can yes. count them. So most people actually are not in maybe happy marriages or yes, whatnot. So yes. what's the point of getting married anyways yes. if if I'm not going to be happy? Yeah. I'd rather stay single yeah so that's why Sha. And i think a lot of people are scared a lot of us are scared a lot of About like young people now okay. are scared because it's like mm -hmm. what we watch on tv mm -hmm. like our experiences of like other people's relationships mm -hmm. uh how like obviously like our parents or our mothers were forced to be in relationships that yeah. they were not, or marriages they were not happy with yeah even like considering everything that was happening inside that marriage they yeah, still like, had to be in the yeah marriage. but in a way that is good for our generation in the sense that we we've seen our mothers and their generation and yeah. our fathers managing marriage yeah so they, like then mar like you don't have a choice you, you're married you stay married like yeah. only very few people you know left their marriages yeah. but now Nobody is tolerating any nonsense again because we've seen it all and we don't want that same yes, type of marriage for yes, ourselves. True. Like I keep telling myself, if I'm going to be unhappy in marriage, I'd rather be unhappy alone. Like, yeah. let me just be single and be unhappy because That's at true. the end of the day, what's the point? So because we've seen that, yeah. we know better, we know what we want, we know what to expect yeah. and we just want the better for ourselves, even for the men. Mm -hmm. Because they've seen that, they want to treat their wives better, they want to treat their kids kids better yeah. it helps for people that have sense yeah, which there are very few <laughs> uh, that's, that's the problem so there are very few yeah with, that's with true common sense that, i think that yeah that's the biggest problem yeah, yeah. but i mean yeah. it's both for me oh. yeah. marriage are ah, the good days are sweet the bad days are like why am, why am i married <laughs> what am i doing here like do i have do I have to be this or do I have to be married? <laughs> yeah, but it's normal now. I'm so happy. I, like, I'm very happy you're super transparent about it because <laughs> most people will try to make you feel like ah. 
oh my god marriage is like not even marriage their own marriage is like mm -hmm. roses and petals yes you have ups and downs we so all have ups is, and downs even with your siblings is, yeah even with your twin yeah even with your parents like you always have ups and downs so yeah. isn't that a stranger that you just True. met three years ago and married yeah. compared to someone you've been living with in the same house since the day you were born ah yeah, you guys so will always have your ups and downs but let the ups just be more than yeah. the downs because yeah the downs are a lot then you are generally unhappy and you will not be you will mm -hmm. not like it mm -hmm. so yeah what are you most grateful for at this point in your life in my life my yeah. family now <laughs> i feel like everybody will say my family Even no but you're genuinely happy you're, yeah. you're, you're grateful for them so i'm grateful for my family yeah. ah especially my children yeah. especially my children but um aside from that i think i'm just in a good place in life to be yeah. honest i have very little to complain about mm -hmm. i'm not the richest i'm not the poorest i'm not the anything but yeah. i'm just fine i'm just happy i'm just content i'm always very content with what i have so that helps me mm. We oh thank God, God. exactly. Yeah. We have finally come to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm happy. I'm thank happy to you. be here. <laughs> you guys, please subscribe, like, please subscribe to my channel, comment, yeah. share all that good stuff. Let me know what your own thoughts are about all the questions that she asked me today. Yeah. Let us know what your opinions are in the comment section down below. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much <laughs> for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.